Question 1. How often must the assistant engineer inspect every bridge, including road over under bridges? A. Twice a year. B. Once a year after the monsoon. C. Once every two years. D. Quarterly. Answer B. Once a year after the monsoon. Question 2. When should the annual bridge inspections commence? A. At the beginning of the monsoon. B. Immediately after the cessation of the monsoon. C. Before the monsoon starts. D. Any time during the year. Answer B. Immediately after the cessation of the monsoon. Question 3. Who specifies the completion date of the inspections? A. Assistant Engineer. B. Chief Engineer. C. State Government. D. PWD Department. Answer B. Chief Engineer. Question 4. What type of bridges require more frequent inspections? A. Newly constructed bridges. B. Bridges with heavy traffic. C. Bridges whose condition warrants special attention. D. Bridges located in urban areas. Answer C. Bridges whose condition warrants special attention. Question 5. Who collaborates with the assistant engineer for joint inspections of canals and irrigation crossings? A. The chief engineer. B. The counterpart from the PWD or irrigation department of the state government. C. Private contractors. D. Local municipal engineers. Answer B. The counterpart from the PWD or irrigation department of the state government. Question 6. What should the inspection of steel work focus on? A. The architectural design. B. General condition of girders and bearings, corrosion, stress concentration and condition of paint. C. Load bearing capacity only. D. Traffic management during the inspection. Answer B. General condition of girders and bearings, corrosion, stress concentration and condition of paint. Question 7. What equipment may be required for detailed bridge inspections? A. Cranes B. Scaffolds or cradles C. Hydraulic lifts D. Drones Answer B. Scaffolds or cradles Question 8. What should the assistant engineer use to record inspection results in the bridge inspection register? A. Pencil B. Ink C. Typed entries D. Digital records. Answer B. Ink. Question 9. What type of registers should be maintained for bridge inspections? A. One register for all bridges. B. Separate registers for major and minor bridges. C. Registers only for major bridges. D. Digital registers for river training works. Answer B. Separate registers for major and minor bridges. Question 10. Who specifies the separate bridge inspection register for important bridges and river training works? A. Assistant Engineer B. Chief Engineer C. Irrigation Department D. Public Works Department Answer B. Chief Engineer Question 11. What qualifies a bridge as important? A. Linear waterway of 300 meters or more B. Total waterway of 1000 sqm or more. C. Classification by the Chief Engineer Chief Bridge Engineer. D. All of the above. Answer D. All of the above. Question 12. What factors are considered when classifying a bridge as important? A. Depth of waterway. B. Extent of river training works. C. Maintenance problems. D. All of the above. Answer D. All of the above. Question 13. What is the criterion for a bridge to be classified as a major bridge? A. Total waterway of 300 meters or more. B. Total waterway of 18 linear meters or more. C. Clear opening of 12 linear meters or more in any one span. D. Both B and C. Answer D. Both B and C. Question 14. What are bridges called if they do not fall under important or major classifications? A. Secondary bridges 
B. Minor bridges C. Small bridges D. Auxiliary bridges Answer B. Minor bridges Question 15 What is the purpose of the numerical rating system NRS in bridge inspection? A. To measure the load-bearing capacity of a bridge B. To assign a unique rating number earn to represent the physical condition of a bridge C. To record the architectural design of the bridge D. To calculate the construction cost of the bridge Answer B. To assign a unique rating number earn to represent the physical condition of a bridge Question 16 what does the acronym EARN stand for in the context of bridge evaluation? A. Uniform Rating Number B. Universal Rating Number C. Unique Reference Number D. Unused Rating Number Answer B. Universal Rating Number Question 17. What is the condition rating number CRN used for in bridge assessment? A. Estimating the traffic load on the bridge B. Evaluating the overall condition of bridge components. C. Measuring the width of the bridge. D. Assigning a unique identifier to the bridge. Answer B. Evaluating the overall condition of bridge components. Question 18. Which component of the bridge is assessed first in the sequence mentioned? A. Bearings and expansion arrangements. B. Masonry concrete in substructure. C. Foundations and flooring, if any. D. Track structure. Answer C. Foundations and flooring, if any. Question 19. Which component of the bridge is listed last in the evaluation sequence? A. Track structure. B. Superstructure, girders, arch, pipe, slab. C. Bed blocks. D. Bearings and expansion arrangements. Answer A. Track structure. Question 20. What are the components included in the superstructure of a bridge? A. Foundations and flooring. B. Masonry concrete and bed blocks. C. Girders arch pipe slab. D. Bearings and expansion arrangements. Answer. C. Girders arch pipe slab. Question 21. Which component ensures the alignment and movement capacity of the bridge? A. Training and protective works. B. Bearings and expansion arrangements. C. Masonry concrete in substructure. D. Bed blocks. Answer. B. Bearings and expansion arrangements. Question 22. What is the primary purpose of training and protective works in a bridge? A. To support the track structure. B. To protect and stabilize the bridge against environmental impacts. C. To provide a foundation for the superstructure. D. To aid in expansion and contraction. Answer. B. To protect and stabilize the bridge against environmental impacts. Question 23. What does the acronym CRN stand for in the context of bridge inspection? A. Component Repair Number. B. Condition Rating Number. C. Critical Repair Number. D. Condition Rehabilitation Number. Answer B. Condition Rating Number Question 24. Which CRN value indicates that a bridge component is in a sound condition? A. 1 B. 3 C. 5 D. 6 Answer C. 5 Question 25. What does a CRN of 1 signify? A. A condition requiring routine maintenance B. A condition requiring major or special repairs C. A condition warranting immediate rebuilding or rehabilitation. D. A condition that has not been inspected. Answer. C. A condition warranting immediate rebuilding or rehabilitation. Question 26. If a bridge component requires rebuilding or rehabilitation on a programmed basis, what is its CRN? A. 1 B. 2 C. 3 D. 4 Answer. B. 2 Question 27. What CRN is assigned to a bridge component that requires major or special repairs? A. 1 B. 2 C. 3 D. 4 Answer. C. 3 Question 28. A CRN of 4 indicates a condition that requires 
A. Immediate rebuilding or rehabilitation. B. Routine maintenance. C. Major or special repairs. D. No action. Answer B. Routine maintenance. Question 29. What CRN is assigned to a bridge component that was not inspected? A. 0. B. 6. C. 4. D. 1. Answer A. 0. Question 30. What is the significance of a CRN of 6? A. The component is in a sound condition. B. The component was not inspected. C. The condition rating is not applicable. D. The component requires immediate rebuilding. Answer C. The condition rating is not applicable. Question 31. Which CRN values indicate that no immediate action is required on the bridge component? A. 1 and 2 B. 3 and 4 C. 4 and 5 D. 0 and 6 Answer C. 4 and 5 Question 32 A CRN value of 2 suggests what type of action for the bridge component? A. Immediate action without delay B. Action on a planned schedule C. Routine inspections only. D. Exemption from maintenance. Answer B. Action on a planned schedule. Question 33. When multiple components are present in a bridge, how is the CRN assigned? A. The CRN is assigned to each component and the highest value is used. B. The CRN is assigned to each component and the lowest value is used. C. The CRN is assigned to each component and the average value is used. D. The CRN is assigned to each component and the middle value is used. Answer B. The CRN is assigned to each component and the lowest value is used. Question 34. In the example given, if the CRNs for 5 pairs and 2 abutments are 5, 4, 3, 2, 5, 5, 4, what would be the CRN for the substructure component? A. 5 B. 4 C. 3 D. 2 Answer D. 2 Question 35 If one or more components of a bridge do not exist, what CRN should be assigned to those components? A. 0 B. 6 C. 1 D. 5 Answer B. 6 Question 36 What is the overall rating number, ORN? for the bridge based on the CRNs of its components? A. The highest CRN of the components. B. The average of the CRNs of the components. C. The lowest CRN of the components, excluding zero. D. The sum of the CRNs of the components. Answer. C. The lowest CRN of the components, excluding zero. Question 37. What is the format of the urn for a major bridge? A. A six-digit number with each digit representing a component. B. An 8-digit number, with the first digit being the ORN and the following 7 being the CRNs of the components. C. A 5-digit number, with the first 3 digits being the CRNs and the last 2 being the ORN. D. A 10-digit number, with the first 5 digits representing the CRNs and the last 5 being the ORN. Answer. B. An 8-digit number, with the first digit being the ORN and the following seven being the CRNs of the components. Question 38. Which of the following is true when calculating the ORN for a bridge? A. It is based on the average of the CRNs. B. It is the highest CRN of the seven components. C. It is the lowest CRN of the seven components, excluding zero. D. It is the sum of the CRNs. Answer. C. It is the lowest CRN of the seven components, excluding zero. Question 39. What does the urn of a minor bridge represent? A. The overall condition of the bridge based on component evaluation. B. The type of materials used in construction. C. The overall condition of the bridge using a single digit. D. The age of the bridge. Answer. C. The overall condition of the bridge using a single digit. Question 40. The urn of a minor bridge is represented by A. A two-digit number B. A single digit to indicate its overall condition 
C. A letter code. D. A combination of numbers and letters. Answer B. A single digit to indicate its overall condition. Question 41. According to the guidelines, the physical condition of a road over bridge is represented. A. Differently from a rail bridge. B. The same as for a rail bridge. C. By using the CRN only. D. Using the ORN. Answer B. The same as for a rail bridge. Question 42. Where should the CRN of different components of a bridge be entered? A. In a report. B. In the box provided in the register at appropriate places. C. On the bridge itself. D. In a maintenance log. Answer B. In the box provided in the register at appropriate places. Question 43. Which type of bridge is represented using the same method as a rail bridge? A. Minor bridge. B. Major bridge. C. Road over bridge. D. Suspension bridge. Answer C. Road over bridge. Question 44. What is the purpose of entering the CRN of different components in the register? A. To track the age of the bridge. B. To assess future maintenance schedules. C. To document the condition of each component for future reference. D. To determine the load bearing capacity. Answer C. To document the condition of each component for future reference. Question 45. What should be done for all bridge components with a condition rating number CRN of 0? A. They should be ignored. B. They should be inspected by the assistant engineer at the earliest. C. They should be rebuilt immediately. D. They should be inspected by the maintenance team. Answer B. They should be inspected by the assistant engineer at the earliest. Question 46. Who is responsible for inspecting the bridge components with a CRN of 0? A. The bridge owner. B. The assistant engineer. C. The chief engineer. D. The maintenance crew. Answer B. The assistant engineer. Question 47. What does a CRN of 0 indicate about a bridge component? A. It is in a sound condition. B. It requires immediate rebuilding. C. It has not been inspected. D. It requires routine maintenance. Answer C. It has not been inspected. Question 48. When should the bridge components with a CRN of 0 be inspected? A. Within a month. B. At the earliest. C. After the next scheduled inspection. D. Only if problems arise. Answer B. At the earliest. Question 1. How often must the assistant engineer inspect every bridge, including road over under bridges? A. Twice a year. B. Once a year after the morning.